Hi, this is Priscilla Ficklin McCallop, Red Carpet Interviews. I tell you what, I thought Oprah had it going on, but you know what, Oprah? We're not jealous of you anymore, or Gail, because we have none other than the infamous, the number one making hit in the world producer, Mr. Boo Mitchell, on the line tonight. Mr. Mitchell, hi, how are you today? We are just absolutely awesome and we are so elated that you could join us on this evening and step away from your um, recording session. So first of all, on the red carpet, we just want to know who is Boo Mitchell? <laughs> yes. Okay. It's absolutely awesome, but you know what? We were trying to say your dad for last, but we just gotta ask this big question while we have this listening audience tuned with us. Now, your dad produced all number one hits for Al Green. How did that rub off on you so well producing all number one hits for your artists? And could you let our listening viewer and artists know who your artists are, audience know who they are? Um, so I worked with uh, Keith Richards. Repeat that name for our younger listening audience. <laughs> wow, so you're the next up and coming out. Well, huh? <laughs> oh, you, oh, you're you almost about to exceed him. Hey, Mr. Bell. So, anyway, we want to ask you about Boo. Who is Boo? Mitchell, and what is your birth name, Mr. Mitchell? My uh, first name is Lawrence. Uh, everybody calls me Boo. I've been Boo since the night I was born. Uh, <laughs> that's a nickname that my aunt Yvonne gave me oh. in the hospital. So I've been, my real name is Lawrence, but I've been Boo for it just as long. <laughs> yes, Lawrence Boo Mitchell, listening audience, and what a name she gave you. So, do you have family besides your sister? I have my sister uh, now that's on the studio, and my mom, Lorraine Mitchell, and my aunt Yvonne, uh, they help us run it. Okay. Sound like it's just a family empire. So is it safe to say Empire copied their name from you? <laughs> I don't know. I had, I had worked with Terrence Howard before Empire. So. Oh. <laughs> you had? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you probably yeah. worked with everybody in the industry. Could you name some more people besides Terrence Howard that you worked with and as an actor? I guess that list, maybe you can send it to us. <laughs> but um, what is your past time when you were not in the studio with your artists? What What are some of the things you enjoy doing? Uh, I kind of enjoy, um, you know, like outdoor stuff. Uh, I like uh, just going to the movies. I don't hardly ever get to go, but um, okay. I enjoy music and hearing your bands and stuff. That's probably my favorite thing to do. It's live music. Awesome. 
Absolutely. So are you recruiting when you go out sometimes to hear listen to live music? Uh, sometimes I wouldn't call it recruiting, but I would like to kind of have my uh, own... Private time. Yeah, um, what the vibe of the city is and what's the next talent pool, um, the next up-and-coming artist. So yeah, I definitely go out. You know, sometimes I see a uh, uh, group or an uh, artist that I you know, want to work with. Um, Super. Absolutely. Sound like you're doing a terrific job. So with that being said, what is your professional title? Uh, shoot, I've got a lot of uh, titles. I guess <laughs> uh, chief manager of wow. video. Uh, uh, oh, do you? Can you name a couple of movies that you produced? Fantastic. So, what can fans look forward to? Are there any new projects besides the Take Me to the River and your father's legacy that you want people to know about? I just want people to know about uh, Royal Studios. It's, uh, we celebrated our 60th anniversary last year, uh, in November. Uh, 60 years old. We're one of the oldest professional operating studios in the world. And yes. we're family owned. Uh, and that's, you know, to have any kind of legacy, uh, let alone work on the studio these days and times is the, you know, it's a, a feat and an accomplishment. Um, and, you know, we just want people to know who we are and be aware of us. Um, and think of us in the same light that they do other uh, historic studios. I bet you after tonight, the entire world will continue to know about Royal Studios, owned and operated by the Mitchell family. Now, we have just a couple more questions for you because we know you have to get back into the studio. Could you tell our listening audience a little bit about your dad's legacy with Al Green and Royal Studios? Uh, so, Pop, uh, in pretty much a minute, the Memphis found and uh, the mid-50s. Uh, wow. what uh, would become the Memphis Soul sound uh, that you know as Dax and High Records. Yes. Um, my father invented that because um, everything was kind of big band before he started doing what he was doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then other people started mimicking his sound and then you had groups like the Marquis and uh, the Barquets wow. uh, that were highly influenced by Willie Mitchell and we met Al Green in 68. Wow. Um, we brought him back to Memphis and they had their first hit in 70. And after that, they put out 26 gold and platinum records. Wow. Wow. That says a lot. <laughs> so. We're also working with other artists like Ann People. Okay. Like Bill Johnson, Bobby Wright, Mikey Tina Turner. Mm. Uh, just so, have you surprised your father with all the number one hits he had for Al Green? Oh, I don't think so. Because um, <laughs> Bruno Mars have put out a lot of hits and a lot of your clients. <laughs> yeah, Al was a huge legacy over a you know, over seven year period. Wow. He sold a lot of records. Um, but, uh, again, we've definitely had a lot of successes. Uh, yes, you have. Still making music, so. Yes, you are. And also, I just want you to know that I, I love Al Green and I still listen to his hits. So, 
Uh, with that being said, if you could go back to revisit Boo Mitchell in any area of your life, what would you say to him? What would you What would you say to that Boo Mitchell? Believe in yourself. Awesome. Now we're gonna call out some names, and we want you to tell us just a little brief something about them. Um, Ti. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Charlie, the final one. Charlie Wilson, got that. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Uncle Charlie Wilson. Uh, but you know what? And I have just one more for that because I got to ask you about this one. Yes. Uh, Charlie Wilson is, uh, he's very Joe Simon, one of my very, very favorites. Oh, the choking John. The choking John and the CLO. <laughs> Joe Simon. <laughs> Absolutely, we hope to get him on the red carpet soon. Now with that being said, on the red carpet, we'd like for our guests to tell our listening audience something about themselves that they have never ever shared before. Like, maybe you could. Um, yeah, I cooked all day yesterday. Wow. And um, Something that our listening audience may not know. Is there uh, something else you want to share? A rapper, oh, a rapper. Okay. 
Don't you worry, we will find it. And with that being said, ordinance look up Kick It Like This by Boo Mitchell. What's the name of your group again? The M Team. And also, could you send a shout out to Priscilla Red Carpet Interviews for Boo Mitchell at the Roy Studios, please? This is Boo Mitchell at Roy Studios. I'd like to give a shout out to Priscilla on the Red Carpet. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Boo Mitchell. Yay! <laughs> Have a great day. We'll be sure to brag about this interview for the rest of the year for life. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy your session. Thank you so much. Boo Mitchell, Royal Studios, producer of Bruno Mars. You heard it here first on Priscilla Red Carpet Interviews.